Welcome back to Globesweeper Hex Puzzler. Today I was planning on doing Cut Out, because that level isn't too difficult, and in practice I couldn't even figure out how to beat Twin Links. But then I did, and I just had a like misconception right at the start. I didn't even know how to break into this level, and I can imagine a lot of people would probably miss this thing. So, because I've, I'm practiced on that now, and I honestly think this might be one of my favorite levels in the entire game, I think it's very very nicely put together, it has some interesting mechanics and some very tricky parts, and it's not overly tedious or frustrating. So I'm gonna jump into Twin Links and we'll uh, talk about the uh, possible misconception and just walk through the level. So because this is a line level, I prefer pressing the X button on the keyboard just to mark all of the lines so we can keep track of them all. Not that you really need that in this level since it's all just horizontal lines. But to start, we have this four here, just mark all of those tiles. And then if you look here at these line clues, we have a max three line, max four line, max one line, max two line, and max seven line. So what, where I went wrong is, okay, we have a max two line, so this two chain can't be part of anything else, so we cut this off. But then what? Then I could not figure this out. I did not know how to, how to uh, progress from this point. The trick to this level is that this side has max uh, number tiles, max number lines, but they are not the same on either side. If we go to the other side, these ones, these clues, are minimum clues for the same number. So here in this line, we need a minimum of three and a minimum four, minimum one, minimum four, uh, two, and minimum seven. So because of that, that means that in each of these lines, since all of these match up, we can only have three chains, only have four chains, only one, only two, only seven. So any tile you mark at all, has to be that chain. Because of that, we have this tile here, which now has to be made into a seven chain. So we have to mark six more tiles and then disconnect the tile because it has to be a seven chain. And on this side as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then disconnect this tile. Now at that point, we can look at these two max six areas that have a six cluster now here, they can't connect up to anything else within this area, so these tiles can all be disconnected, and similarly here, uh, these tiles can all be disconnected. Now let's start by just going to the left here, the left area, so this 2 is done and this 2 is done, here we mark this for the 3, and this 3 needs these 2 tiles as well, and we can just right away look at this line here, the second line has to have 4 chains, and only 4 chains. So if we were to mark this tile in the center, we would make a five chain. So that doesn't work. We have to cut this away. And then we have to make these, these into uh, four chains. So one, two, three, and four, disconnect it. This two is now done. And then on this side as well, just three and four, and then disconnect it. Uh, let's leave this stuff for now and just continue left until we uh, can't do any more. So this one is already done. Uh, here, this one will use one of these tiles and the three has one tile, can at most get two here, and then we need to mark this tile for uh, the third tile. Also, we can mark this one for the one. But now, because we have a tile here, we have to make this into a seven uh, chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then disconnect this tile. Now the one is done here, we get a three there. This line has to make two chains, so two, and then disconnect it. The three here is already done. And here in this line, we have to have three chains, so one, two, and three, and then disconnect it. And now at that point, uh, at that point, we can look at this area of minimum six. So here we have a four cluster. We have to make that into a minimum six cluster. So it can only use these three tiles to become a six cluster, but it can't use both of these two tiles. If we go up here, this one is already completed, and this tile will be gone. So then we only have five, and we have to use this one to finish with six. And if we don't use this tile, then we can only have five tiles. So the only option is to use these two tiles, because when we use this tile, this one will be removed. So there we get our six cluster, and this tile is now done. The three here marks this tile, and we have to make it into a two chain, so this is marked as well. Now because of that, we can look at this max five, which we now have a five cluster in, so none of these two tiles can be marked or it would be more than a five chain. So these are removed, and 
At this point, we can look at this minimum eight here. So we have two tiles here. Uh, we have to have somewhere in here, we have to have a an eight chain. Here, we already have an, a nine cluster. So this can't be our eight cluster. So we have to make these two tiles into our one eight cluster. That's There's only space for one more eight in this area. We can't have this one reach eight and then mark another one, uh, or this one reach more than eight and then mark another eight cluster. So because of that, think about what these two tiles need to do. So we have two tiles here. We have to make them a minimum of eight. And in fact, we have to make them an eight. If we were to mark this tile here, we would get three tiles, then four tiles, and then regardless, we have to move on here for five and six at least. And at that point, we can now just look at this line, which has to have four clusters in it. Here we have two. We could have a four cluster going all the way here. That would be fine. Or we could have a four cluster going like this, or it could reach all the way over here to these two tiles. But at this point, because we have these tiles marked, we can no longer use either of these two end tiles. If I were to mark this tile, we would get one, two, three, four, five, and six, and that doesn't work for this only four cluster line. So because of that, these two have to be removed. The one here is already done, so that's gone. And now, uh, what does it do now? Right, now we look at the uh, max five here which we already have a five cluster, but these uh, tiles cannot be more than a five cluster. So what would happen if we were to mark this first tile here? We would have to make it into a four chain. So if this tile is marked, this tile also has to be marked to make our four chain. And then we've given six tiles to this five. So this rightmost tile cannot be marked. We have to delete this tile. And then because of that, this is the earliest point the four chain could start. We have to mark one, two, three, and this tile has to be marked. Now because of that, here we have the max six area. We have five tiles here. If we were to mark this tile, then we would get six, seven, and eight. So this one can't connect up. We can delete that tile. And in fact, we can just mark these now because we have a five cluster here. We have to have one six cluster for this max six. And this is the only spot for it. We only have exactly six tiles left. So we get all those marked. And we now have our four chain here, so this tile is removed. Now we can work our way back to the right here. So to begin with, there's a, a bit of a tricky thing, but I guess we can just look at this one first. Here, there's a max six area. We already have a six cluster, so that's fulfilled, but we also can't make more than a six cluster. So let's look at this tile. If we were to mark this tile, what would happen? We have to make that into a three chain for this line, so we would have to mark this, this, and this tile. And then we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine for this max six. So that doesn't work. We cannot use this tile, and that has to be deleted. Then we have a one here that's already completed, so remove the next tile. And at this point, here we have the minimum six area, and we have five only, so we have to mark at least one of these tiles. But if we mark one of these tiles, we have to mark all of them because we have to make it into a three chain. So because we only have five tiles here, we have to mark all of these tiles to make it a, a, a three chain. Then this two is already done. This one is done. The three here marks these tiles and the one is done. This two is done as well. And then here in this line, we need to have four chains. So two, three and four and then disconnect it. We get the one here that's already done, and this tile is marked. Here we have to mark a uh, three chain, so two and three, and disconnect it. The four tile needs these tiles, and once again, one, two, and three, disconnect it. And now, same as on the left side, in this line, we have to have four chains. We have two tiles here. They could stretch over here. They could stretch up to here. But now, once again, we can't use these two end tiles, because if I do, if I use either one of these, we would have to connect up to these tiles and make it more than a four cluster. So these two have to be deleted. We get this one for this one. And at this point, uh, we can just look at this minimum five, I think. Uh, right? Or should I look at this one first? No, I think minimum five. Uh, wait, actually, yeah, to begin with, here we need to make three chains. 
And here we only have two tiles left, so we can't make a three chain. We have to uh, disconnect these tiles. And because of that, this minimum five has four tiles here. We have to mark this one to make it a minimum five chain. But now we can think about these tiles. So here we have four tiles. We have to add at least one more tile here to make it a, uh, a five chain. If we mark this tile, then in this line, oh god, that's long, that's far. This, uh, this line needs two chains. So because of that, if we were to mark this tile, we also have to mark this tile. And then this two would be done and we would disconnect these tiles. So that would be fine. But if we don't mark this tile, then this tile would have to be marked to be, be the final tile in the five cluster or the minimum five cluster. And if this tile is marked, then we would have to make a two chain here. So this tile would also have to be marked. But then we suddenly have given three tiles to the two. So it's not possible to remove this tile and only use this and this tile. So this one has to be marked and we have to mark this one as well and disconnect this tile because it has to be a two chain in this line. This two is now done and we mark this two for uh, or this tile for this two. Once again, make a two chain and then disconnect this tile. And that gave us a two tile with already one tile. Now, because of that, we can no longer fit a seven cluster in these tiles. If we were to start here, we have one, two, three, four, and then five, that would already complete the two, so this tile would have to be deleted. So we can no longer fit a seven cluster here, which means none of these tiles can be marked at all. This two marks these tiles. We have a two cluster now, or two lines, so disconnect that. This one needs this tile. Once again, make a two line. And then this two is now done. And now we just look at this max nine area here, which has a three, cluster here, a one cluster here, but we don't have a nine cluster yet. And how many tiles do we even have here? We have four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have to mark all of them to make the nine cluster for this area. Now, because of that, we've already completed this four chain here. So this has to be disconnected and we can't fit this one in because it can't be part of a four chain so that's disconnected as well. And now finally, this minimum, uh, minimum three. Actually, I think we can look at this one as well. Yeah, either one of these really, but here, maximum four, we have a four chain here, so this tile has to be disconnected. And then this minimum three has a massive chain here, but we don't have a three chain yet. So here we have two, and we have to mark this tile to get the three chain. So now this is all done, and we can move on to the second half of this, uh, this level. I'm gonna rotate it like this, just because now the uh, maximum tiles, maximum line clues are on the right, and the minimum line clues are on the left. And same deal as with the other one, we just have different numbers now, but they are the same on either side. So this line has to have two chains. Here we have five chains, two chains, three chains, and single tile. So if we place any tile in this line, we have to disconnect both of the ones surrounding it or on either side. Now to start this one, we have a zero here. So just delete all of these tiles. And now it's already, uh... oh yeah, right now uh, we look at this uh, two chain line, we have to make two chains in this line. So because of that, this tile can't be marked because it can't be part of a two chain, so we can disconnect that. This line, this tile now, can't be a two chain, so disconnect that. And all the way at the end here, this single tile cannot be a two chain, so disconnect that as well. That gave us this three here, which only has three, three tiles, so these all have to be marked. And the one here is done now, and this is marked. And then here we have to make two chains, so two chain and then disconnect it. Here we have to make five chains, so one, two, three, four, five, and disconnect it. We can't fit another five chain in these three tiles, so those all have to be disconnected. Here we need to make a two chain. If we were to start the two chain here, we would also have to mark this tile, and that would be two for the one. So we can't mark this tile, it has to be disconnected, and this tile has to be marked, and then we make a two chain and disconnect it. And then this single tile has to be gone, uh, removed, because we can't make a two chain in it. Uh, now at that point, we have this max two area with two tiles here. So these can't be connected up to anything within this area or it would make a three chain. So these are all removed. Now at that point, this is kind of tricky. This two has two options, but what would happen if this tile is the one that's marked? If we mark this tile, that means that we have to make this into a three chain for this second to bottom line. So if this tile is marked, we have to mark one, two, and three, and then we've 
added a, a three cluster in this max two area. So this tile cannot be marked or it clashes with the uh, area clue. So we have to delete this one and this has to be the tile for the two. Now in this line we had only single tiles so this one has to be disconnected. And now it's again a very tricky thing. Now let's think about these two tiles. So in this middle line we have to make two chains. So all of these two, two tiles, like every single gap between these tiles, have to either have no tiles or have both tiles marked. Now what would happen if we mark both tiles here? And maybe I should show this in, in paint, but I guess it's not too hard to see. So if we were to mark these two, or like either one of these, if we mark this one we have to mark this one as well, then we have a two chain, so this area would have to disconnect these two tiles and these two tiles. But now for the minimum four here, we would in that case have a two chain here, and these four tiles would all be disconnected, and we have no way to make this into a four chain. So because of that, we can't mark either of these two tiles. We have to disconnect both of them. So I guess I don't really need paint for that, but I will need paint for other stuff. Just you, uh, just you wait. This two now needs this tile, and that's done here. In this line, we needed three chains. So here we get a three chain and disconnect that. I guess we'll just complete this area. So one here is already done. Uh, here we have a minimum four, so we have three tiles here, and then a minimum four there. And uh, now, I guess we can look at this max nine. Here we have five tiles for this max nine. We have to have a nine chain somewhere here. Once again, we have to either mark both of these two tiles or neither. What happens if we don't mark these two tiles? Then we have a five cluster here, and these two are both gone, and then we're left with six tiles here. So we would not have enough tiles to make a nine chain for this max nine area. So these two tiles both have to be marked. And now because of that, we have three, five, uh, four, five, six, seven, and we need two more tiles to make the nine chain for this nine area. What would now happen if we use this leftmost tile? Then we would get eight tiles here, but we have to make it into a three chain. So we'd get nine and 10. So that doesn't work. This tile cannot be marked for the nine area, so we have to disconnect this one. Now we got a three here, and in this line we can only mark one of these two tiles at most. So this three has one tile, can have two, and then needs this tile for the third tile. And then we make this into a three chain and disconnect the end. This one is done here, and the two marks this tile. We have to have this be a single tile, so this is disconnected. And now finally count the nine again. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we can't have more than that. So disconnect this tile and mark this tile for the three area. So there we go, that's that half done. Now here again, we needed three chains, so two and three, and then disconnect it. This two is done. And at this point, at this point, I think it's the, uh, the tricky thing that I might want to show in paint. So, uh, Keep in mind we have a two chain here and a five chain here. So when we think about this one, if we were to mark this tile, we have to mark a five chain. And if we mark this one, we have to mark a two chain. So I'm gonna take a screenshot here and just show this off in paint. All right, so here in paint, let's just work through the two options this one has. If we were to mark this tile here, then we would have to disconnect this tile, of course. But then here in this line, we needed two chains, so this tile would have to be marked, and then this tile would have to be disconnected. But here, this area, I guess I should have had that open, but trust me, it reaches it reaches three tiles, so it reaches all the way over here in this area. And this minimum four needs this chain to be a minimum of four. So because we have two tiles here, we have to go down here in this case to mark three and then four. And because we have tiles here now, this second line needed five chains, we would have to mark three, four, and five, and then disconnect this tile. So what you should keep keep uh, in mind or pay pay attention to is that we've marked these four tiles yellow or uh, gold or whatever. And this one in this case is disconnected, and this one is in this case is marked. But now what if we do the other alternative? If we were to remove this tile and mark this one instead, then we have to make this into a five chain for the second second line. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and disconnect this tile. Yet again, 
having these four tiles marked is obligatory. In either case, we have to mark these four. It's either these four and these two, or these four and this one. Or I mean, these four and this one and these two in the other case. But yeah, that's that's the key here, that regardless of whether uh, we mark one of these two, we have to mark these four tiles. So we can go back in the game and do that. So here we can mark these four tiles. And at that point, we can now look at the uh, maximum four here. Once again, if we mark either of these two tiles, we have to mark both. And here we cannot have more than a four cluster. So here we have a three cluster. If we were to mark either of these, we would have to mark uh, four and then five and connecting it up here to six. So these two tiles cannot be marked for this max four. Now this minimum four has three here and we have to go down here to make a four cluster. And then this has to be a single tile. So we have to disconnect this tile. This two here is done. So disconnect that tile and we get a zero there. And now, uh, now again, oh, he says, now it's again a bit of a tricky thing. So we look at this minimum four area here uh, with this one. So if this one were to have, I, I swear there's something else I'm missing here. Yeah, let me just, let me just think about this. Yeah, right, right here. Right. Yeah, th let's wait for that. You can actually look at that, but it's not just a 50-50. You have to look at this tile, but we can make it easier to see in just a second. Instead, look at this maximum two again. So now, because we have this tile, what would happen if this tile is removed? If we remove this tile, the one has to have this tile. And in this line, we have to make two chains. So this tile would have to be marked as well. So if we remove this tile, we get a three chain here, and that is too many for the max two. So this tile cannot be removed. We have to mark this tile. And then this one is done. And this max two has two, uh, two chain here. So we have to disconnect this tile as well. Uh, now. Right. And now we once again keep in mind that we have to make two chains here. And we look at the max four here. So what would happen if either of these two tiles were marked gold? If we mark this one gold, then we have to make it into a two chain. So if this one is gold, we have to mark this one as well, or this one. And that would give us a three, four and five or three, four and five cluster for this max four. So that doesn't work. This tile cannot be marked. And similarly here, if this tile is marked, we have a four cluster and we would have to disconnect it, but then we can't make it into a two chain. So these two tiles can both be deleted right now. We get the three here, have to make a two chain here. This one is already done. We get the two here and that's done. Now, because of that, we can't fit a two chain in these two tiles. And here we need to make a two chain and disconnect it. And here we need to make a five chain. So one, two, three, four, five and disconnect it. And now we can look at this one that I was thinking about earlier. So now the minimum four here, uh, we have a one with only two options now. So now in this case, think about either option. If we mark this tile, then this tile is gone and we would have to make this into a three chain. So if this one is marked, we get one, two and three. And that's fine that that works for this uh, minimum four. So no problems there. But what if we do the opposite? If we mark this lower tile, then this one is done. So we disconnect this tile. But since we've marked this tile, we can only have single tiles in this line. So if this tile is marked, we have to disconnect both of these tiles. And then there is no way for this minimum four to make this tile into a four chain. So because of that, this tile can't be marked, we have to delete it. And we get this tile marked, and the one is done. And now we have to make this into a three chain in this line, and then disconnect it. And at that point, uh, at that point, we can just look at the, uh, the five here, max five. But you can also just think about this minimum four. It needs to have a four chain. So because of that, this has to be the four chain. But that's kind of like a harder way to look at it than just looking at this max four at uh, max five. Because of the max five, we have three chain, three tiles here. What would happen if we mark either of these tiles? Since we mark one tile, we have to make it a two chain in this line. So if we mark any tile, we have to mark both. And if we do mark both, we get three, four, five and six tiles. And that doesn't work for the maximum five. 
So these two tiles cannot be marked. We can remove both of them. And then this two is done here. We get a zero there, zero here, and follow the zero. And then here we can't fit another two chain, so this has to be disconnected. And here, minimum four, we have three tiles here, so we have to mark this one for the fourth tile. Now, once again, we have the exact same situation here. Minimum four, a one tile with two options. Again, what happens if we mark this tile? This one is disconnected, and on the bottom row we can only have single tiles, so this one is also disconnected. So both of these would be removed, and we can't make this into a minimum four chain. So this tile, yet again, can't be marked, we have to disconnect this tile. And that gets us a four, uh, two here, and then in this row we can only have single tiles. In this row we can only have three chains, so two and three, and disconnect it. We get the one here, that's already done. The three here, single tile here, so disconnect that. Three chain here, so two and three, and disconnect that. The one here is done, and the two marks this tile. Now this line and this line are already done. Here we can only have two chains, so one and two, and here we can't fit a two chain, so this tile is removed. And then we can mark these two for the three here. And at this point, uh, at this point we look at, yeah, I guess we, we can look at this max five area here. So this max five area, we have one tile here, one tile here, and three tiles here, but we don't have the five cluster that we need for this area. So how can we make that? Can we not use these three tiles to make a five area? If we don't use that, then we can't use either of the tiles connected to it, and then we only have four tiles remaining, and we can't even use more than one of these, so no, that's not possible. We can't make a five chain without using these already placed three tiles. So these three tiles have to be our five chain, and how do we make it into a five chain? If we were to remove this tile, we have to go three, and then four, and then five, but if we do that, then we've added three tiles to this two. So this tile can't be removed because then we have to mark these two. So we have to mark this one and this one. And since it's now a uh, two chain, oh, that's very far away. Or just look at this tile, it's already complete. We disconnect these two tiles. This one is done as well. And that's all we can say there. But now we look at this line again with a five. So here we have two tiles. We have to make this into a five chain. If it starts at the earliest point, we would get one, two, three, four. And regardless, we have to mark five here. And then we also can't fit another five chain into the tiles over here. At most this three can stretch up to four and five, and like we saw in the first half of the puzzle, these two tiles at the end can no longer be marked or they can't be part of a five chain. So we remove those two, this is marked, we have to make a two chain out of it, so mark the next tile over and disconnect that. And now we can just look at this max two, a uh, minimum two area. So here we have a, uh, what is that, 8 area, and we have a 2 cluster here, or a 8 cluster and a 2 cluster. But we need to have a 2 cluster, so what would happen if we mark this tile, if we continue this one on here, then we would have a massive, what is that, 11 uh, cluster, but we then no longer have a spot to make a separate 2 cluster. So we have to preserve this as the 2 cluster that this area needs, and we have to disconnect this tile, and then this 2 is already done, so disconnect that. The 4 marks this tile, and now here we have to mark 4 and 5 for this 5 line, and this is done. And then here we have to make a 2 chain and then disconnect this tile. And finally, we look at the max 11 area here, which has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and cannot have this tile. It can be a max of 11. And the very last step, this line, which needs only two chains, can no longer use this single tile because it can't be a two chain. So there we go. One hell of a level, but I do think that one is very interesting and just, it, it's a hard one, but once you crack it, it's very satisfying, I find. So I'll leave it there. Next up, I think we'll do Cutout, which is also a pretty lengthy level, but it's just kind of, it's easy and just hard to keep track of, really. The difficulty in that level is just seeing where you're meant to go next, but we'll get to that. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye!